Hello everyone, sorry here, and it's been a while, it's been over a week, I haven't uploaded anything. Uh, it was the off-season, nothing too much to do, so I just took the break. Uh, but now, World Ender expansion is out, we have a lot of new cards. We have Kale, we have uh, Rise, and we have Aitrox as new champions. Uh, I want to do Aitrox first, but then I'm like, Rise looks a little bit cool, we'll try him out. Uh... The animation, apparently a lot of people are mad about the animation, especially on Twitter. Uh, I saw a lot of memes about it. But we'll, we'll ignore the animation. Rise is a champion. Uh, a kind of a late game champion. You want to set him up. You want to put runes on the board. So I've seen a lot of different versions. Uh, I think the Noxus one, I saw uh, Boki playing it. So we, we're going to try the Noxus one today. I saw a uh, Bilgewater version, I saw the Ionia version, I tried that one. Uh, I like the Noxus one a little bit more. And I saw the PNZ version Sunny was playing. But let's talk about the Noxus version. The Noxus version has a lot of, not a lot, it has removals. It has Ravenous Flock, which is sort of broken. It has Death Hand. It has, uh, what else do we have? Scorched Earth. Which is really good. Scorched Earth is good in the mirror because you can destroy your opponent's landmarks, which slows them down. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about how what the game plan is. The game plan is you want to try and drop Rise early on, potentially on turn four, which allows you to shuffle these in the deck. You want to shuffle as much as you can because you want to draw into them. Uh, once you start drawing into them, uh, once you start drawing into them, you get to summon these landmarks. You get to pick uh, two randoms. But once you have one of these, like let's say you, you have Shard of Betrayal, you can't get it again from this. You'll get one of the other four, which is good. Uh, most of the time, I found that mana good is good first because it allows you to play more. It allows you to set up more plays. And when you drop, let's say this is on the board, we drop this on the board, the second one, it will reactivate your, your first landmark. So let's say you get an extra mana. If we have three landmarks and we drop the fourth, all other three landmarks will be reactivated, obviously. And you get to gain value out of those. Uh, once you have five of them all on the board and uh, Rise hits the board or he's already on the board, once Rise commits the attack token, uh, he will end the game. Game is over. It's, uh, the, your opponent can't do anything. So your opponent has to either destroy one of the landmarks before Rise attacks, or stun or kill landmark uh, Rise before he uh, commits the attack. Also, if Rise is leveled up, so to level him up, you need three landmarks. If he's leveled up and he attacks, he will activate your your uh, your what do you call them runes? Do we call them runes shards? Shard, I guess. You you activate the shard, word runes. You activate the ward runes, uh, which is pretty nice. He does gain a spell shield, so he's a bit harder to kill. Uh, the Ionia one does have protection tools. The Noxus one doesn't really have any protection tools, so it's a bit uh, tricky to, uh, to swing with them. Uh, but thanks to Entreat, we can uh, find Rise much easier in the deck. We also have a lot of card draw, Drum Solo, Aif, Nakagaburus. You can also run Deep Med if you want. Uh, I'll stop blabbering, uh, we'll get into the games, and we'll see how it goes. Without further ado, here we go. Alright, so Akshan Kane. Uh I think we'll focus on finding, I guess just find Rise. I could keep this just to kind of survive early on from them. And uh, we'll start looking for uh, the delve in the past, into the past. And finding one is really good now. Uh... We do want to try and set up Rise on turn 4, so we can shuffle more of these in the deck. Another house spider. Uh, I think I try and kill him. I'm just scared. I'm scared of uh, Shapestone. Okay, we got lucky. No Shapestone. And now we're chilling a little bit. So this turn, I want to pass, so I can play this into Rise. Must be nice living off stolen coin. If they develop more, maybe I'll go House Spider instead of Rise. 
But I really prefer playing Rise. So if, if it's an open attack, I'm really happy. I, th I still want to play Rise. I'm scared he'll die, but I think it's fine. I might take some damage here, but like for the late game, this might be a little bit better. They might have strike abilities, right? He doesn't die, unless they have a shape stone. But like for the time being, he doesn't die. Oh, he didn't swing. Okay. Yeah, we're fine like this. We're chilling. He might die later, but at least he's, he's shuffling the stuff. I should probably destroy this landmark. I don't know if they can trigger it, though. They would need to play a lot of three stuff, which is kind of hard, right? And I'll probably go house spider here. This rise dying is fine. I, I, I will draw into another rise very easily. The main goal is just to, to kind of slow down opponent right now. This is probably dead. Or maybe they have a strike ability. So I think we'll be looking for the mana one first. So we can play another one. This is scary. It's fine. Let's see what we can find. Mana. This helps me a lot. Let's me play another one. Uh, do they have anything that destroys landmark with Shurima? I don't think so. Oh, maybe no. They don't. It doesn't run. Does their natural rest? Uh, card draw or heal nexus? I don't think we need the heal nexus. I think I prefer the card draw. Next turn we go for the drum solo. And it'll make stuff cheaper, right? Because I played two of these. Uh, not what we want. I could try and kill this guy, but it's a bit hard. I should still probably try. I guess I could pass and see what they do. Yeah. I'll try and kill him. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we cry a little bit. Save some. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah. The regeneration sucks also. I could try and kill this, but then he summons the big man, which is something I don't really want. I think I prefer just going house spider and chilling. What does this do again? Yeah, I think we go house spider and we just chill. And I still have uh, card draw and stuff like that. I guess I didn't have to go house spider since I'm probably gonna go card draw. But I need to try and end the game. So the goal right now is to find the, the stuff. Find the stuff and uh... so go drum solo. Okay. So what we need now is rise. And we can find Rise with Eye of Nakakaboros and Time Trick, right? I think we just pass here. 
We'll see next turn what we can find. What does Ward Ender do actually? I should probably. It does assemble, but what does assemble do? Am I losing here? Transform Allied equal to Dark into the Dark form. They are. Okay, we're not in trouble. Okay, we're not in trouble. Phew. It doesn't give rally or anything. We're fine. Uh, yeah, just pass. We're chilling. We're chilling. We have time. We don't have rally or anything. Okay, we have a lot of these. I need to start looking for time for my uh, for my rise. Skip or I? Uh, I think it's a skip. No rise. This gives me a card draw, so I'm gonna play it here. Maybe I'll top deck rise before before playing I. No. Yeah, aren't we doomed here? Or doomed? Uh, what do I do? Well, I could play this and look for something, I guess. Look for rise, one more time. Uh, card draw damages and stun makes it cheaper. No, I guess flock isn't bad. So what I need to do, what does this do? Attack from the top six cards of your deck, summon an attacking follower or non -chan Oh, that's kind of a problem. So I guess kill this. It does give him a weapon. Oh, that's not good actually. That doesn't do anything. I need to set up uh, blockers and I need to stun something. So it's either this or this. This is gonna summon a unit, so it's kinda scary. I hate removing these. I hate it so much. I think I have to. No, 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 no. I think it's just a pass now. I will see what happens next turn. Hope no spell shield, I guess. This is really good. Uh, no, uh, not spell shield. No, right of negation. Because I can stun, right? Yeah, I can stun. But I think they might want to develop more. Never mind. They are drawing more cards though, so they are getting more answers. I, I hate, I hate the horn. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He makes everything much pricier. I guess it's fine. We drop down to four. I still have the freeze if I have if I need it. Like if they play a uh, right of negation here, I can freeze. Yeah. I could even go this. I think this is just and hope they don't have a double buff, I guess. Okay, we survive to see one more turn. I need to find rides. We need rides here. And we need them not to have double strikes. Or any way to rally. 
But I don't think they can rally. This did draw them a lot though. No rise yet. Okay, let's do this first. See what we can get. This gives me two ba two more mana. And the car time trick. Time trick might find them, I guess. I think it's their strike abilities. Aren't they all slow speed? Okay. The dream? No answer, hopefully. We need we need to strike with this guy. We need we need to just commit the attack and we win. I'm just not sure. I don't know if they have answers. Like maybe the four mana strike, I guess the fast speed. Do they run it in this ver version of this deck? In the Shurima one? The three mana strike, that, but that's slow speed. So I know that. There's the Akshan one that's also slow speed, right? Uh, the four mana, the one with Varus, is it... Is it Targon or is it... It's Targon, I think. Yeah, it's not in this. Don't we just win? Like the second I commit the attack, I win, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. They don't have anything fast speed. Everything is slow speed. Boy, a very, very insane game. Uh, GG's, GG's. Build water version uh, with Fizz. So Fizz, we can't really kill him at all. I think... So I think the best option is to go Rise and Drum Soul on this matchup. Because I don't think we're gonna get aggro down technically. Uh, this has, uh, I guess it does maybe have a lot of units to kind of draw them cards. The Bilgewater units, the, the Croak, uh, Fortune Croaker. Is it called Fortune Croaker? The two mana unit that damages a unit to draw your unit. Uh, a card, I guess. My hand is a bit doomed too here, so it has to be a pass. Yeah, like they're already at uh, at an advantage, right? I could destroy it, which I probably should. Because this will constantly give them mana. Uh, I don't want that. I, I should probably destroy it. Ah, they are at an advantage. Uh, the good thing is I have a rise. So if they don't have a rise in their hand, we might be in a good spot. And I can kill their own rise, so that's also good. Not right now, though. Okay, that's uh, all three. What does this do again? Oh, another one for mana. Yeah, I'll start rise here. Start shuffling in the deck. And I can after shock and kill. Destroy this. Maybe I should have... No, it's 100% rise first. I can after shock destroy it now if I want to. Which kind of slows them down, right? And this this is this is mana which is really important for them. They have their own rise which we need to kill. I have a flock to to follow it up. And the Bilgewater doesn't have any defensive tools, right? They shouldn't have anything. Can they run twin? I guess maybe they could maybe run twin disciplines, I think. Wait, let me make sure. Yeah, no, I think. Oh, don't targetable, never mind. Yeah, they can't. Uh that's a bit annoying. I still have an answer for it, but uh, I don't have a damage spell anymore. Uh, I could play drum solo though next turn. Fez, uh, Fez is whatever. Fizz is wherever. We don't really care about Fizz too much. And if I oh he might he might copy my uh, my flock or disintegrate. Most likely. Zap. Okay. Uh, I'll play this now. 
Now I'll go spell mana. Obviously I can't play it here. But uh this allows me to maybe play drum solo next turn. They will most likely destroy this. Yeah. They level up uh, Fizz so fast. That's actually inter like Fizz. I saw this version, but with Twisted Fate, right? But Fizz is actually pretty annoying, if you think about it. So just allow this. Hmm. Might be a pass, I guess. I do have a lot of more cards than opponent so if we can survive for a little bit we should be we should be fine i think i'll just pass i think next turn i will go for this uh eye of nakakaburos get some card draw make a block i'll probably take some damage from the fez uh they will probably put uh challenger on him so i'll I should have a second rise in my hand ready. I killed one rise, so they still have one. Oh. I mean. No, 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 I don't want to block with them. Okay. I can also copy from them if I have to. Which I might have to. This is the mana one, right? I could copy now and see what we can get. I think Aftershock maybe is better just to destroy this and get it done with. Or I could work on my thing. I think working on my thing might be even better. I'll go for the mana one. The mana one is more important early. Let's me do more stuff. On uh this is the The cave here sought freedom. Draw. I still don't don't remember what they look like, so I have to read every time. <laughs> every time I gotta read. Uh I mean I know this is healing, right? Oh this yeah, healing, yeah. yeah. I know that. Oh, that's so annoying. Can't stop it. Unfortunate. Uh, I guess it's fine. I still have another rise. Do they have a rise in their hand? I can't play him though. Oh, they're going for my aftershock again. Which makes sense. Oh, they went for this. Okay. That's okay. Uh, we do still have a problem. I need a way to kill the rise once he drops on the board. This we can freeze. I guess I can oblit I can do this, but like, I kind of want to save this so I don't die to the fizz eventually. I mean, if I get the deal 2 damage, I can kill the fizz here. No. No. I don't really want the stun right now. I might go time trick here. Hey, what's this? Oh, I mean. Okay, play this. So this kills the fizz, right? That's constantly giving me mana, so that's why this is so good. Like right now, I could end the game here. Because I have it, oh, two mana, uh, rise. rise. So, we'll do this. Do this. Also, rise has spell shield, by the way. So it's very annoying to kill here. 
and go rise i think they might and they have to surrender i don't think they have an answer unless they can pop the spell shield and maybe stun him or stop him from attacking or something like that which is maybe a bit hard especially with only two cards but yeah uh once we attack we just destroy their nexus and win the game uh ggs ggs hopefully you enjoyed the video i will see you in the next one take care and goodbye